Hi and welcome to ISPI. Today I'm gonna make a wall mounted fold down MPCNC. For cutting the steel tubing I could use an angle grinder, but almost every time I have to cut steel tubing I use my tube cutting tool, which gives me always a straight cut. I fast forward the assembly part of the MPCNC, because there are so many tutorials out there and I think it's too boring to you. I just followed the instruction on the website of V1 Engineering. The only thing I made different than the instructions are the belt tensioners. I found the 3D model of these tensioners on Thingiverse. It can be tensioned with a screw and they attaches to the MPCNC with zip ties. Then I temporarily set up the electronics, which are in my case three stepper drivers, an Arduino and a power supply. To control the MPCNC I use Estelcam, but every other software will work too. Then I screwed the MPCNC to the base plate. I done that with T-nuts. After that I made a small test piece to see if my MPCNC can route the right angle. And it does. Next I made the rough 3D model how my idea should look like. I just made models of the most important parts of the folding mechanism to see if there are some collisions. As you can see I made the table like a torsion box so it won't warp later. Next I've cut all pieces for the torsion box. Yeah. 
Then I cut all the necessary notches with the help of my simple curve maker. If you want to know how I built my curve maker, there is a video on my YouTube channel and a bunch of other videos as well. Here I test fit the parts of the torsion box. Then it was time to make all the levers and the wall support pieces which makes the fold down movement possible. To prevent the pieces from wear out, I decide to use steel tubing on every pivot point of the construction. So I cut a bunch of these small tube pieces. Next I drilled all of the holes I need for the steel pipe pieces and for the screws.
I always used the actual piece as a template to drill the holes in the wall. So it was the perfect time to do that before the pieces are glued together. To assemble the support pieces I used glue and nails and after the glue has set I reinforced them with screws. Next I screwed all the support pieces and levers in place. Then I drilled all screw holes in the torsion box pieces and screwed the whole thing together. I then use the frame to test the movement of my construction. And it works perfect! Next I attached the base plate to the frame. Then I took it apart again to make the cutout for the torsion box pieces that sit under the sacrificial plate. I used the jigsaw to make a rough cutout and used the router to trim it flush. Here I use my self-made router base. Plans for this router base and other plans will be available soon. So go to my website isimplybuiltit.com and subscribe to the newsletter. So you will get an email if I uploaded new plans. Next I finished the small torsion box and screwed it all together. Then I reattached the finished torsion box. Next I set in the sacrificial plate and attached the MPCNC. By the way, I made the sacrificial plate from MDF. Even though I made a 3D model, there was a small collision.
so I have to make a cutout in one of the angled levers. You may ask why I made the upper levers angled. Because straight levers would have a collision with the belt tensioner. And angled levers look a bit nicer, in my opinion. Problem solved. I made a stop piece so the MPCNC can lean against it when it is in the folded up position. I noticed that the angle levers flex a bit, so I reinforced them with some steel levers. I made my own open slot wiring raceway ducts because at this time it was nearly impossible to order these. Next I attached two handles to make it easier to fold up and down the whole thing. I 3D printed DIN rail clips for every electronic part, so it was very easy to mount them. To connect the laptop to the Arduino, I installed an extension plug so I can plug in the USB cable from the side. And I installed a kind of power distributor. Next it was time for wiring. If you want to know in detail how to wiring a CNC, there is a bunch of instructional videos on YouTube. I use a numeric keypad to control the MPCNC when I'm not at my laptop. It works via Bluetooth and it's very convenient. Then I installed all the drag chains. I've 3D printed mine, but they can be ordered from Amazon as well. I made a drag chain bridge from aluminum angle. I 3D printed the supports for the bridge with integrated holders that holds the connectors in place. For the drag chains underneath the steel tubing, I found this holder on Thingiverse, that will be attached to the existing holes in the rollers. I 
I decided to add a main switch and emergency stop to the torsion box. Therefore I 3D printed routing templates to make the cutouts for these. Then I finished the wiring. I also installed a solid state relay, so I can start and stop the spindle from the laptop. Next I installed the sacrificial plate and used the MPCNC to make holes for T-nuts. I reinstalled the sacrificial plate and mill it flat. After that I used a pen holder and a pen to draw a grid on the sacrificial plate. This grid makes it a lot easier to place the workpiece. Then I closed all the wiring raceways and I was nearly done. I will definitely make some improvements for my MPCNC. If you don't want to miss these videos, hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell.
I found a company on Amazon who makes these stickers. These stickers are made especially for this case. It makes it a lot easier to control the MPCNC with the numeric pad. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the notification bell and stay tuned for future projects. See ya.